Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is the final video in my Animal Crossing series. If you want to download free coloring sheets of all four designs, click the link from my blog in the description box below. This is also where you can find links to all the supplies used in today's video. Let's get drawing. The quote for this video is, being yourself is always in style. This is definitely words to live by, but if you play Animal Crossing, you know that this quote comes from Gracie, a flamboyant giraffe with a very unique sense of style. Her color palette inspired the colors that I used in today's video. Green, orange, yellow, purple, and blue are certainly an interesting combination, and it was fun to play around with them and find a blend that would work well. The colors that I'm using here are inspired by Gracie's spotted giraffe fur. I began with a yellow brush pen, dotted it with my orange, and now I'm going in and blending it with my water brush. This gives it a fun and unique look, just like Gracie herself. Now we're going to switch it up using a cursive hand lettering style. You want to make sure that you make each of your downstrokes a bit thicker on your letters. I'm using a blue brush pen here, and for the most important words in the quote, meaning the ones that I want to stand out, I'm going to transition from this blue color down to a purple as I move down the page. I'm going to be using my water brush to blend the two different colors together, and I'll use two different methods to color them on my page, so they'll create some different effects. You'll see what I mean as you watch the video. Even though I'm not blending two different colors here, I still grab my water brush and use just a little bit of water to soften the edges of the letter, blend any harsh marker lines on my downstrokes, and to just give your lettering a more painterly look. This is a great way to level up any of your lettering that you do. For the word always, I'm beginning that blue-purple blend that I talked about before. So I only colored in about the top half of my word always, and now I'm using my purple brush pen to go in and color in the bottom half of the word. That way the colors don't get blended too much together and affect each other. If I blended the purple on top of the blue, it would essentially just create a deeper purple color. But I want you to still be able to see that it's blue and purple together, and they'll just blend gently in the middle as you transition between colors.
For our final word, style, I'm still going to blend some of the blue and purple together, but I'm beginning with filling the entire word in with my purple color, and then I'm going to use a different blend mode with my blue pen by just placing it along the top of the word and deepening the color. That way you can see that we transitioned fully from blue at the top of our page all the way down to purple at the bottom. Now I'm going to grab my green marker and add some signature accents of Gracie's style to our page. Gracie wears this funky shirt that's mostly blue, but it, then it has these green and orange circles dotted all over it. So I wanted to make sure and incorporate those signature circles into my page. I'm just drawing these in with my marker, placing them wherever I think is best, and I'm not gonna go over them with my brush pen. I want them to have kind of a clean, hard-edged graphic look. Now I'm using my black jelly roll pen and I'm going to highlight some of these letters by outlining them in black pen. This helps on this to stand out and brings them together as a more unified part of our piece. I'm also using my black jelly roll pen to offset some of the circles that we drew. So I'm not drawing directly around the outline of each circle. I'm being kind of loose and free with it and drawing each of them slightly to the right and below where the actual colors are. This just makes it a little bit more fun and interesting and the black outline helps them to stand out on the page. For the final touch to our page, I'm going to add both shadows and highlights to my last few words. So I'm using my gray mild liner highlighter to add a little bit of shadow on the right hand side of each of my letters. Wherever you place your shadow, you just want to be consistent and that will help it look most realistic. Now that I've finished adding all of our shadows, I'm going to take my white gel pen and add just a little bit of highlight to the top and the left hand side of each shadow. You want to make sure you put your white highlights on the opposite side of whichever you chose for your shadows because that's where the light is hitting and then creating the shadow on the opposite side of your letter. And now our page is complete. Thank you so much for joining me for creating this hand lettering piece. I hope that you check out my website at HaleyRayDesigns.com to download your free coloring sheets. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos.